Ever wonder why hurricanes seem to follow one of two specific tracks? Either they track westward across the deep tropical Atlantic and affect the Caribbean islands before impacting the United States, or they curve northward out to sea, paralleling the U.S. east coast and threatening only mariners or perhaps the island of Bermuda. There's a reason for this that may surprise you, because it has nothing to do with the famous Gulf Stream ocean current that flows along the U.S. east coast. The Atlantic hurricane season officially runs from June 1st through November 30th, and the peak of hurricane activity is typically in the month of September. Hurricanes that form during the peak of the season and threaten the continental United States typically follow one of the two tracks just mentioned, thanks to this thing called the subtropical ridge, a high pressure system that dominates the central North Atlantic, sometimes called the Bermuda High. Because the subtropical ridge is a high pressure system, it rotates clockwise in the northern hemisphere, and with sinking air at its center, which is opposite of the rising air that sustains storms, storms really hate being inside the subtropical ridge. So instead, they blow around it. Imagine the subtropical ridge as this angry bully that no hurricane wants to approach, and so it pushes those hurricanes around instead. A stronger subtropical ridge will keep a hurricane locked into a more westward path through the Caribbean and toward the United States. A weaker subtropical ridge, possibly due to a cold front sweeping through North America, for example, would lead to a hurricane turning more toward the north. So, if you live on the U.S. East Coast and feel a nice cold front sweep through for several days, chances are you have several days of protection from a hurricane until the subtropical ridge builds back toward the west again, which you would feel as a warmer period of weather. This tug of war between the subtropical ridge and other weather systems such as cold fronts that want to erode it is what poses the primary challenge in hurricane track forecasting. The position and extent of the subtropical ridge is like this giant plate of jello that is constantly shifting, moving, and evolving. So whether or not a hurricane eventually hits the United States or stays safely out to sea strongly depends on the timing of when the hurricane approaches during each evolution of the subtropical ridge.